Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of hooded eyeshadow tutorials on my channel, like this one that we are going to do today. So if you're new to my channel, I wanted to let you know, I try to keep my makeup tutorials as simple, as informative, and as achievable as possible, and this one is no different. So I'm walking you through how I got myself comfortable with cutting the crease or cutting the halo I think technically if you cut your crease you're taking it all the way in and this is obviously a halo eye but same kind of technique applies the technique I've picked up through this concealer that I'm going to show you in my video is a game changer for me it has helped me so much to be able to really get precise with cutting the area out where I apply the glitter for the halo eye. It will make sense if you're a beginner and you don't know what I'm talking about as I explain it in the tutorial. So I'm walking you through how I got comfortable with that. At first I started with a shadow and I'm gonna show you how I did that. And then I got myself comfortable with using a putty shadow and then I got myself comfortable with using a glitter shadow and now I'm comfortable cutting the crease with the concealer. So I know that's a lot of mumbo jumbo right now but I just kinda wanted to tell you guys how I kind of walk you through my tutorials. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look right here, whether you have hooded eyes or not, go ahead and keep watching. All right, you guys, my base makeup is on. I will leave all details for that down below. As for my lid, I've already primed it with concealer and set it with just a loose powder, and we are ready to get started. So I recently discovered Allie Glines. Correct me if I'm pronouncing her name wrong below, but she had picked up the Pro Fusion Wanderlust palette, which I thought was so beautiful, and it performed so well on her eyelids. I was really impressed and wanted to pick it up for Target. This thing is $9.99 and comes with a brush and then I also picked up the infatuation I haven't played with this one yet but there's also another one on Target's website and they are so pretty so today we're going in with wanderlust and then I'm going into another palette I am going into just a grayish almost black tone from an old MAC palette use whatever you have for that you can even use one of the blue shades in the wanderlust palette and then I'm going into the baked browns from dose this is such a staple I use this all the time because they are so pigmented and when I just need a dark brown I typically pull for this shade so we're going into that as well but again please shop your stash don't feel like you need to go out and buy these I really do recommend the Pro Fusion palettes though so beautiful so we're gonna go ahead and get started the first color I'm gonna take in the palette is statement we're staying in this area for pretty much the whole look until we go in with the shade so we're gonna start with statement and I am using the blending brush that comes with the palette I love this brush I know this is gonna be a staple for my hooded eyes so starting with statement we're gonna go very lightly and just start to build out our crease like we did on this side we're also gonna start to kind of just create that halo shape I'm not trying to be extremely precise as far as my lid towards the middle because we are gonna go in and use a concealer. Now, when I do a halo, a lot of people like to really take a heavy shade in the middle, but you can see on this eye, I like to leave that a little bit lighter because I feel like when I go too heavy, in that area it starts to kind of look too heavy with my eyes now of course do whatever works best for you but this is just my preferred style when I'm doing a halo eye so you could see how I like to build out outer corner inner corner and then once I have very minimal product on my brush I take that to kind of tie everything together in the center. So that literally took me 
maybe a minute and a half, two minutes to kind of get the shape down. And these blend so beautifully. Really, really enjoy these. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into Nostalgia and Coast next. So Nostalgia is the most chocolatey brown and then Coast is a little cooler. That's what I really like about this palette as well. There's some warden tones, but there's also some cool tones. So starting with Nostalgia on that same brush, I'm just going to start to deepen things a little bit where it's closest to my lash line. So I'm gonna dip right here and darken this a bit. And then we'll go in again after we put on the gold shade. But this is just the rough outline for the halo. And then I'm just taking a clean brush to blend further. And I don't take that dark shade into the crease at all. I really just keep that on the inner corner and outer corner. And then grabbing a pencil brush, I'm gonna go into Coast, which is the cooler brown shade. And I'm just gonna kind of touch that right where I'm going to kind of blend into the glitter shade. And we'll end up going back in a little more with this. Just like that. And then again, taking my blender brush, just running that right along. All right, so that is the rough outline for the shape that we're looking for. We are still going to go in with that Dose of Colors palette after I lay down the concealer and the glitter, but this is the shape that I'm going for, and that would have taken me three minutes tops to get all of that done if I wasn't talking through this during a tutorial. So my favorite, favorite concealer to kind of cut the crease for the halo eye is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage precision concealer that's a tongue twister it has this little tip let me show you so you could see it cuts out the step of needing a brush because this is so sharp and it is full coverage so I'm gonna go ahead and start to cut my crease with this I guess technically this isn't called cutting the crease but that's what I call it so this is the first way that I'm gonna show you now there's a couple other ways you could do this that I started out with when I wasn't comfortable using a concealer I would just go in with a really pigmented shimmer shade and go right in on the area now I would be a little more careful with blending so I had a little more of um, an open space so I wasn't kind of piling the glitter on top of the darker shadow if that makes sense but now that I'm more comfortable using concealer I'm totally comfortable doing this but I still don't do it the way a lot of people do it on YouTube so I'm gonna go ahead and start you kind of want to go in like an angle just slightly and I'm not gonna bring this up too high because I don't like to I'll, I'll bring it up a little bit as I blend but I don't like to immediately like bring it up really high because as I blend, I would just blend too much if that makes sense. So I'm pretty much just gonna start like this. And you could see as I just lay down the top, the, what is this? Like felt tip, it just makes application so easy. And I'm gonna bring it across. Now I will end up blending this a lot. Some people like a very stark like cut and they'll just kind of apply some shimmer over that. That's not my cup of tea. I like a very blended halo eye. And if you really wanted to do like a total cut crease and not just a halo eye, you would just continue this on all the way to the inner corner. All right, so I'm gonna start with that and then I'm gonna take my fingertips. You could also take a Q-tip, but I'm just gonna kind of tap the edges. And I have really fat fingertips, so it's kind of hard to do this, but I just wanna tap those edges so they're not so harsh. Like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take 
a concealer brush to kind of run this. Now this has some product on it from the other eye, but that's okay. I can really kind of blur this edge. That just kind of helps with blending. Now, like I said, if you didn't want it as blurred, if you wanted a harsh edge, you would just not go in and do this, obviously. All right, so I have the shade Chill in the palette, which is just kind of a goldy, shimmery shade. And I'm gonna start with that on my fingertip and I'm gonna press that on the concealer. Again, I have fat fingers, so it's kind of difficult. I'll have to go in with a brush as well, but this is the shade that I wanna lay down first. It's so pretty. This palette is stunning. And then I'm gonna just take that pencil brush once again and just kind of work those edges. We're gonna go in with a lot more here, but I like to kind of blend as I go. So I'm just gonna work those edges slightly. I haven't put anything on this brush. Just kind of working what's already on the brush and on my lid to kind of diffuse that. See, like a lot of people really like a harsh kind of halo eye like that. It obviously looks stark right now because there's nothing else on my eye, but I'm gonna start with that and then I'm gonna go into my ColourPop Cheap Date Super Shock Shadow. I absolutely love these. This is the second way I kind of got into halo eyes. First it was just using the shadow, then I started to use these because these work so well with hooded eyes. There's minimal fallout, but they really pack a punch. So again, I'm gonna grab that concealer brush and I'm just gonna grab some Cheap Date on there and I'm gonna pack this right over the Chill Shade and see how it's just a lot more glittery. It's gonna give you some more texture. And as I do this, I'm fanning out the size of that halo a little bit more as well. So again, going into that pencil brush, I'm gonna dip a little bit into Coast, which was that cooler brown, and I'm gonna work that again, because I wanna blend as I go, I just think it's helpful. Do whatever suits you, though. I'm really just kinda getting this right on the edges. And I pull inwards, so I pull that way, and I pull outwards. I think that just kinda helps with the blend. And then I'm just gonna take a blending brush. I'm gonna take a clean MAC 217 because it's a little more pointed and I can really get into my crease area. I'm just gonna blend that a little bit. So note how I'm holding my brush up, not down, because I don't wanna take any of that glitter away. I'm holding my brush up and out. I'm almost going in at a downward angle, actually. And just hitting those edges. Focus camera, please. All right, and then for the, what is that term? Piesta de resistance, or right? Isn't that right? I don't know. I'm going in with the Essence Metal Shock eyeshadow. I love these. This is in the shade Solar Explosion. So this is just a beautiful reflective gold. Looks like that, so I'm gonna get First, I'm gonna start with it on the doe foot applicator, and I really kinda of wanna start this in the middle of the lid. So let me hold my compact down so you guys can see. Cause I want that to reflect the most. Kinda of going in an upwards triangle. That's not even the right term, upwards triangle. I'm just kind of going in a triangle upwards and then out as I get towards the top. All 
All right, so I'm gonna let that dry down for just a second, but I do wanna blur those edges while it's still wet. I'm gonna try to not look up too much while I do this though, because I don't want it to transfer. So taking just another concealer brush, I'm gonna kinda work those edges. So it's not so harsh, but if you did want it harsh, you could leave it at that. All right, so you can see how harsh that is up here. I don't like that, so I'm gonna take that first Profusion brush that we were using back into Statement, and I'm just gonna blend the edges now that everything has dried down a bit. I think I need to grab a little bit more of the ColourPop shadow on a brush. This is a Dose of Colors brush. It actually came with that Baked Browns. And I'm gonna lift this a little right here. This will just help with that blend. And then going into that dose of color, the dark brown shade, rock bottom, I'm just gonna lightly tap the 217 in that and darken a little bit more. See how that just kind of brings another element to it that I think kind of complements it. It needed it. The uh, Wanderlust palette didn't have a dark enough brown for me and I think that this color really just kind of adds what, what we need. So outer and inner. All right, I think that looks pretty good for now. I just wanna blend the outer corner or out corner edges a little bit right here. So this is just my Wet n Wild blending brush. And then I'm just gonna kind of repeat the process on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna start with Statement and I'm going to work that under the eye. And then a little bit of Nostalgia on the outer corner. Kind of tapering in as I go in. So that definitely wasn't just the outer corner, that was from outer corner to inner. And then right from the tube, once again, I'm going to take the Essence Metal Shock and I'm just going to kind of, you guys might not be able to see this on camera because of the angle, but I'm just going to tap that right in the middle. Just like that, you can barely see it. And then I'm gonna take Chill, which is the shimmer goldy shade in the Wanderlust palette and tap right on it to set. And when we go in and blend again, that'll kind of diffuse. Like on this side, you can barely see it peeking through, but I think it does make a difference. So I do wanna go ahead and line my eyes now. So I have really come to favor the Essence eyeliner pen these are waterproof and I just really like this I, I've never used the benefit roller lash but I think that it comes really really close and then I'm gonna go and set it with that shade in the Mac palette so I'm gonna try to do this on camera so you guys can see how easy this is it's always a challenge trying to make everything look the same I think I need to blend a little bit more out here but I'll do that in a second so I have like lashes that kind of grow above my lash line, so it's always a challenge getting liner through them. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of slowly building my way in. And that is really it. So going over that with the shade in the MAC palette, I'm just taking a Sonia Kashuk liner brush. This is the MAC color. Looks like that. So it's almost like a dark, dark gray. And I think it just adds a little bit of softness with the liner. So I'm just gonna tap right over that.
just like that. So I could see now that I have that on, I think I need to add a little bit of darkness here still on the outer corner since I have it here. So dipping back into that dose palette, I'm just gonna add a little more. I got a little carried away there, but um, I think we are okay. So I'm going to quickly just apply lashes on this eye and mascara, and then I will meet you back here. We'll add the highlight and we will be done. So I'll meet you back here in just a second. All right, you guys, lashes are on, and I did add a black liner to my waterline. It's by Physicians Formula, and it is my favorite drugstore liner in the world. I will leave details down below. I did also want to mention, I thought I filmed the outro, but I wasn't filming, so I want to quickly walk you through how I highlighted. I took my Becca X Chloe and Malika palette. This is the Chloe one. And I just took a domed pencil brush right into the highlight shade. And I worked that on both my inner corners and then the brow bone because hooded eye girls can highlight their brow bone if they want to. And then I also took just a touch of this and I ran it right along the center of where I applied all of the glitter. I think that just draws the eye in a little bit more and looks really pretty, but it's super subtle. And that is really it for this one. Super simple, you can apply this to any colors you have. You do not have to go in with browns and golds. It's just been a hot minute since I did like a neutrals brown, this isn't neutral, this is kind of full glam for me, but you know what I mean? I typically go in with like a pink halo eye or a orange halo eye, something like that. This is a little different for me and I'm really enjoying it. So like I said in the beginning, whether you're a beginner or whether you're advanced, I hope you picked up something helpful in this video. If you have any questions, as always, please leave it down below. I try to respond to every single comment that I can. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. And if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the world to me and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.